Richard, I can't tell you how happy I am that you visited us and that we get to know each other. I'd like to mention that you are one of these rare people who are PhD in mathematics, and you also been very successful, to say the least, in the real world. You are combining these two worlds, the academic and the economic, and we're very happy to have you in our group and looking forward to long, from my <laughs> perspective, not so long, but a long collaboration with our enterprise. Thank you so much. And it's been wonderful to spend time with you. I'm so glad I came out to meet you in person so, because yeah. it's, it's always different to spend Isn't time together true? in person. <laughs> you true. know, I do a lot of Zoom meetings and having video is wonderful, but being able to meet in person is really special. Yeah. I'm so it's, glad. It's something incomparable. I mean, there's, as you say, there's a category difference between sitting together and talking and communicating versus electronic media. Yes. Well, I'm absolutely honored to be involved with the Philosophia Institute. And it's uh, meant so much to me because it's answered so many of the questions that I've struggled with in the midst of my own academic and professional life, right? And trying to resolve some of these quandaries that don't seem to make sense, you know, encountering your ideas has been a very powerful catalyst for me to be able to really integrate more of my own life and experiences into a coherent narrative. You know, I started in mathematics and, uh, and then I got my PhD in a field called systems science. And the idea of system science uh, at least when you walk through the doors, it says above, you know, the whole is greater than the sum of the parts, right? <laughs> Good. Now, in practice, it doesn't really end up being about the holes so much. It ends up being more about the parts. And in what I'd call sort of computational heuristic approaches to um, identifying parts when, um, you know, in complex data-rich environments, Right. But still, you're taking this very quantitative, analytical approach to problem solving, and you're using broader um, tools like neural networks and genetic algorithms and different, essentially, search strategies when you have to find an answer, but you know you're not going to find the one answer, right? So, um, so I think that there's still a need in the world for a true philosophy of holes and a true cosmology that, that distinguishes between holes and parts. And that's what I tried to do in the system science world and, and made some honest efforts. But in the end, you know, it does end up being much more about the parts than about the holes. <laughs> so, so that's been really wonderful about your work and something that I'd like to help be a bridge to help your ideas reach an even wider audience.